Uh, I did want to share with you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, some things that I got in the mail today. One, I actually won a giveaway, which is super exciting. So let me see. So Pink Butterfly Girl, I believe there are some numbers on her channel, but I will link it down below. She's been doing 12 Days of Christmas, which is super, super generous. Every day she's giving away something beauty related. And I usually don't enter YouTube giveaways because I don't know, I just feel like I'm not gonna win. And then I also feel like I don't really need anything, so I'd rather someone else who needs or really wants something to get it. But something told me just enter, and I actually won. So thank you so much to you, girl. Um, I wanted to share with you guys what I actually got. So here's a little card with a candy cane, and thank you so much. This is like really nicely wrapped, and I will be eating this candy cane. <laughs> I have not had a candy cane in years. And she gave me this card. It says, may a joyful Christmas be yours this season. Aw, I'm not gonna share what it says inside, but thank you so much, girl. I'm gonna reach out to you personally. This video will go up a little after I'm filming it, but um, thank you so much. This is my first holiday card of the season. And this was just so nice of her. So if you guys wanna see what I got, I almost don't wanna open this. Okay, I'm not gonna open it, but I will share with you guys what it is. I won a MAC travel brush set, and I will link the video down below where she shares um, what she was actually giving away. I don't wanna open it because I don't get many gifts for Christmas, and this is just so beautifully wrapped, so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this and open it on Christmas, but I do know what it is, but I just think this is so beautiful. Yes, Miss Grace, how may I be of service to you? Are you telling me that you're about to eat? Are you about to eat? Okay. So yeah, thank you so much, girl, that was so sweet. Then I wanna share with you guys some items that I got from Victoria's Secret that came in. Okay, enjoy your lunch. I love you too. <laughs> These are some items that I picked up from Victoria's Secret um, for Black Friday. I'm not gonna share everything with you guys because half of the items are panties and I just feel like you guys don't need to see my panties, but I got some workout panties specifically. I don't know about you guys, but I like have specific underwear for different occasions, like everything like that. And workout underwear, those are always separate. So I do wanna share with you guys the other things that I got. I just got some pajamas because I think they were buy one, get one free. And I love wearing like traditional pajamas and I love Victoria's Secret sets. So I got this pajama top. It's like a cami with little side ties and it also comes with shorts. So I got those. They also have a little lace on the side, very sexy. Um, I also got a, v a VS pink t-shirt, just because it's always good to have extra t-shirts. And this is just like a cropped, well maybe it's not cropped, but it's like a top with a tie. And these types of tops are great to wear after the gym. So that is what that will be for. I also got, let's see. Okay. I didn't order this, I don't think, or maybe I did. <laughs> it's a little bralette from Victoria's Secret. It should be in an extra large. Don't know how this is gonna contain the girls, but I do like wearing little bralettes just around the house. Uh, I also got another pajama set in a pink color. This is the same as the other one straight across side ties and then the bottoms with the lace. I got this in a size large and I got one bra. I'll show that to you guys. 
It's black and lacy. Super, super cute. It's unlined. Uh, I think it's always nice to have a couple unlined bras, especially when you're busty. Sometimes you don't need a lot of padding. And with certain outfits, it just looks better. So that's a little haul for you guys. I haven't been doing too much shopping, but Black Friday, or I think this was actually Cyber Monday. They were having really good deals. So I did pick a few things up. Um, I guess I can also show you the candles that I got from Candle Day. So I just want to share these with you guys. Now these are not all the candles I got. I also got, um, what else? I think I got lavender marshmallow and pear, peach, peach bellini something. I don't know, something like that. So these are all new candles that I've never tried, including the two that I ordered um, that haven't been delivered yet so i decided to do candle day online this year just because i do not like standing in lines nor do i like holding bags yeah, i don't have time for stuff like that so the first one that i picked up is strawberry pound cake excuse my nail we're gonna do that today um this i actually got because i was watching tina d delicious i believe and he said that this was really nice I'm not a big fan of it. It smells very artificial. It smells like fake strawberry. So if I don't like it, I will be sending it to one of my friends who was looking for this candle. Um, the second one I got is Mary Cookie. I like having sweet bakery scents in my kitchen. That smells just like a holiday cookie. The scents that I like having in my room are a little more like sexy and fresh. And I like having just other type of scents throughout my house. This is one of my favorites. Um, I did smell it yesterday when it arrived. Uh, this is Ballerina Rose. How pretty is the packaging? Uh, it smells literally just like fresh cut flowers. Now that did happen to my candle. I believe it was because it was so cold in transport that the candle actually, the wax contracted and it was rocking in my glass dish and it kind of just like got all ugly, but Ballerina Rose smells amazing. I think I'm going to order another one of those. I love a rose scent. And the last one I got is an OG favorite. <laughs> this is Champagne Toast. I've actually never tried Champagne Toast before. But this is beautiful. It almost smells like a candle that I used to burn that I was allergic to. I think it was called Pink Sangria. Actually, it smells the same. So hopefully I'm not allergic to this. Yeah, I'm gonna burn it before I get more champagne toast just because I might be allergic to this formula. But yeah, those are the candles that I got with the two that have not come yet. And I will put those names across the screen. So yeah, I just wanted to share what I got for Candle Day. I wasn't super impressed with how they rolled out Candle Day. There were lots of issues. Uh, also didn't like the price increase. But then again, these are not necessities. So I don't think I will be participating next year. I will just buy them when they are 12 50 or 12.95 because that's probably how much they're going to be now and use a coupon because when you buy them online during candle day you can't use a coupon which is a drawback so yeah let me know down below what candles you guys got for candle day good morning beautiful people today is friday <sighs> i'm dragging it's 10 12 it's time for me to do a workout it is raining, it's been raining since last night. So I'm not gonna go to the gym today. I just, it's gonna be raining all day and I just don't feel like being out there in the rain. So I'm gonna show you guys the workout that I do at home when it's either too cold and I don't wanna go to the gym or raining. So that's gonna include five minutes of jumping rope, um, give or take, <laughs> and then strength training. And I might like, run up and down the stairs, do different things on the stairs. It's just, you know, whatever I feel influenced to do. So I am still wearing my scarf from last night because I figured I'm probably gonna sweat more than usual because when I work out, I have the fans on on the machines. <laughs> so I just put a hat on, my moisture wicking cap from Nike. 
So let me finish putting my sneakers on and I will show you guys my little at home workout routine when I don't leave the house at all. And today is definitely one of those days. Um, I have a holiday Christmas party tonight. It is a party, it's an ugly Christmas sweater party at a skating rink. So it's gonna be at Cascade. For those of you guys who know about Atlanta, I have not been there in about a decade and I do not skate. So we will see how this works. My friend that you guys would have seen take me thrifting, he will be there with me. Um, also have to go back to the thrift store because I need an ugly Christmas sweater. I had one that I wore during Vlogmas a few years ago, but I don't know if I gave that away or what, but I don't feel like looking for it, so I figured I could spend a few dollars and get something at Goodwill. I also want to go through my closet upstairs because it is packed to capacity. There's no more space for tops, dresses, jackets, body suits, anything like that. So I wanna get rid of at least 25 things because I've been doing a decent amount of shopping this year just because of my weight loss and uh, my style has changed. So it's time for me to do an overhaul of my closet and get rid of things that no longer fit, that probably won't fit, i.e. either too big, or things that are no longer my style. So I'm gonna do that today. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out. So let me get my shoes on and we will have our workout commence. Okay, excuse the mess in the garage. <sighs> okay, let me get my jump rope. We're gonna try to do five minutes. I do start and stop though because if you ever wanna get an amazing high intensity workout in jump rope it is like one of the best ways to get i get like a 175 heart rate which i never get while doing cardio so one moment Don't underestimate the power of a jump rope. And if you have a large chest, ladies, wear a really supportive bra and like two shirts. Oh my goodness. Oh, especially doing it out here with this cold air. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should bring my weights out here and do that. I hear Chloe inside whining. Chloe, go back. Mama's working out. I have to get fine. Finer. Oh, so get a jump rope. I've had this one for probably like a decade. Um, it's not weighted or anything. Whew. Okay. Okay, the next workout I'm gonna do is my dumbbell workout. This is a five pound dumbbell. I'm gonna get a larger one in 2020, but for right now, whew, this works just fine. I'm gonna do a 10 minute dumbbell workout um, and then we will go inside and use some workout equipment. Just gonna show you guys a little bit of this workout. I showed you some of it in an earlier vlogmas video. And we're gonna be listening to K. Michelle the Rain. <laughs>
I came down to the basement to do an extra workout and the basement is partially flooded. So I've been spending the last 30 minutes calling the plumber, getting all that figured out. It's always something when you have a home, <laughs> especially a basement. Um, but I did do my 10 minute workout on the machine. It was kind of hard today because I think I do 20 pounds on this and I haven't done this in about a month because I just haven't felt like coming down here. Um, so my arms are nice and tight, uh, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just do a basic routine. I do arms um, up here and down at the bottom. I do lunges. I sit on the bench and do arms pulling down. Nothing super fancy. I pretty much follow what I see sometimes on Instagram or on YouTube. <sighs> so it's gonna be an interesting Friday now that the basement is flooded again. This happened about a year ago and now it's happening again. So not gonna stress about it. It's gonna be fine. That's what plumbers and insurance is for. <laughs> But um, yeah, so yeah, fun, fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and drink some coffee and try to get my day started and also handle all this. So I was trying to film for you guys my actual gym routine, gym routine in my home gym, but I came down here and had to start moving things because the carpet is flooded. So yeah, happy, happy Friday. Hmm. I've never done this before, so be very different for me but i am going to try and test out vlogging for this afternoon and maybe this evening because i have a few things going on um, a male co-worker that you're cool with or like in my particular case my boss is a guy um this is a really great gift if you're into that you know not everybody gives gifts but i'm a you know my love language is gifts giving <laughs> Me too. More giving than receiving, but you know, I'd like to receive as well. Okay. <laughs> for a snack so I got this from the dollar store about a week or so ago do y'all remember last vlogmas when I was obsessed with what was it the boom chicka pal popcorn mm. pause the video and write it down this is just like that mmm but it's from the dollar tree I know y'all are tired of seeing me looking a mess. So I finished my nails. These are gonna be my Christmas nails. This is DND 440, I believe. It's called Ferrari Red. Um, now I'm going to go through my closet and take out 25 items to give to Goodwill because my closet is exploding. Now I have three closets, but I like this one specifically for the majority of my clothes. <clears throat> and instead of buying more hangers and stuffing it to the brim, I'm just gonna give some things away because I know I have things in there from like a decade ago. So, let's listen to some music, clean this out. The people are here dealing with the leak from the pipe and the water heater. I feel like this happens every Vlogmas, something malfunctions. Last year, it was the oven and the microwave. Today, we had a water leak. <laughs> so my basement is flooded, but the people are here fixing that and replacing the water heater now. And then they're gonna come later to clean up like the flooded areas, get the water up and 
dry the carpet out. I know this whole process because this happened to us before, so yeah. So I've been taking care of business all day. It's been a working Friday still. You guys know I work from home, so luckily I'm able to handle these type of things during the day. But yeah, let's get this closet sorted out. So this is my main closet. I have two rows. These are like all of my bottoms. Well, not all of them. That's my barefoot robe, barefoot dreams robe that I haven't had time to use because it's not cold enough. But yeah, this is like 90% of my clothes that I wear. I have more in my other closets and I have some that are folded. But all these things in here do not work and fit with my style or my body anymore. So I'm gonna go through this now and I think that's the plumber calling. So let me show you guys what I pulled out. And it's a little dark in here. I don't have my light on. I could open the blinds. Although it's very gloomy outside. But anyway, so this robe I'm going to donate. I don't really like super thick robes. Like this is a thick terry cloth or velour robe. I don't know. I'm large, so I like a thin robe. So that is going to Goodwill. And you guys, I really only sell stuff when it's like a big ticket item or something that's in high demand. Otherwise, I'd rather just donate it and give somebody a chance to receive it for like a really low price. This suit that I probably wore in high school, it's a skirt suit. It's really cute, just not my style. Um, and it's too big for me now. So maybe I wore it in college then. Yeah, because I was smaller in high school okay so that is going to goodwill as well it's also good to do this at the end of the year because these are all things that you can write off on your taxes this dress from forever 21 it's a 3x it's too large and it's really not my style i got it one year when i was going on vacation just because i like Super simple dresses for vacation, but it is way too big for me now. And I believe last time I wore it, it just looked gross on me. Like when you wear clothes that are too big, sometimes it just looks silly because of how it hangs. Um, these two tops, they don't fit right now. They would probably fit me in like 30 or so pounds, but they just really don't do anything for me. I don't know maybe I'll keep the blue one because that's a cute color but I'll definitely be giving the other one away and these are from H&M but this is something that I could fold up the blue one I'm definitely giving this one away but yeah these are the tops I wore when I was skinny I mean these are good for the weekend okay maybe I'll keep it <laughs> but it does need to be hung up the next thing is this little crappie top that I wear when I'm at my smallest I'm keeping this um, this is great for wearing under pieces too. It just doesn't need to be hung up. I need to get a larger dresser or a second dresser because my dresser is packed to capacity as well. This is a tank that I got in Vegas. Need more Vegas. Vegas is my favorite city. Once again, this is something I'd wear to the gym or like to the pool or something. It doesn't need to be hung up. And then this I am parting ways with. It's just not my style. It's awkward on because it's longer and it has pockets. And so it sits at the widest part of me. It's a nice material though. And somebody would love this. It's from Forever 21. It's a 1X. So yeah, this will be going to Goodwill as well. And now that I can call myself a thrifter, it feels nice to be able to give things to Goodwill. The next thing is this New York and Company top. And this is at least 20 years old. I remember wearing this to my grandfather's funeral. It was actually a skirt and top. 
set. Now I could probably, you know, wear this again. It's just really not my style and I'm not keeping anything that is no longer my aesthetic because it's literally been sitting in my closet for two decades. Like I don't even know why I brought it into this house. There's no point. So those are all the things that I could find off of first glance. I know there's probably more I could get rid of, but it is hard for me to get rid of things because I'm like, what if I want to wear it? Like this blue lace crop top, I might want to wear that. I have my high school and college graduation gowns. I didn't get a gown when I got my master's because I didn't walk. Um, I have a lab coat from when I did a summer program with the Howard, Hughes, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Like, I can't get rid of that. That's so special. Like, that was my first little summer research experience. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't necessarily wear anymore, but I just don't want to get rid of it. This is so hard. I'm going to have to go through this one more time and get rid of things that's no longer my style. And then I probably need to take a day and do this with shoes because... There are tons of shoes on the floor and then in my beauty room that doubles as a huge closet. I have a shoe rack and about 40 shoes around it. I just, <sighs> when you're addicted to shoes, you just have too many. And I need to go through that and get rid of things that are not my style anymore. But yeah, I mean, I've gotten rid of a few things. I'm gonna go back through this and see what more I can get rid of, but I think we're off to a good start. Hello. So you guys hear that lovely hum? Those are all, oh, oh good. Those are all the fans in the basement. Chloe, do you wanna say hello? Okay. So just today has been an utter mess. <laughs> but we got half of what needs to be done for the flood. Um, I'm up here picking out a bag for my mother. I might just let her wear this. She's going to a Christmas party tonight. My parents are here for the night. She can use this. There's Chloe. She can use this. Or she can use this. But yeah. Um, I'm going to leave here in a little bit, go thrifting to find a vest or a sweater for tonight's ugly Christmas party. I'm just wearing like a top shop thin top just because I don't know what I'm actually going to wear. And then we have the party, so I will see you guys in an hour or so. And that's Chloe. She's saying goodbye. Go ahead and eat, Muffin. Go ahead. I'm proud of you. You're going to eat. So we're having a change of plans. My friend had to work late, so we can't go to the, you know, company party. So we are just gonna go and get some food and go to a brewery and have wings and beer and just enjoy our night. Um, something nice and relaxing. I, I hate that I had to waste a face, but it's okay. It'll be a nice and relaxing evening especially because it's cold and rainy so this will be nice um let me just back up so i'm gonna go pick up some food and head to the brewery and i'll see you guys when we get there bye